friends. Yeah, yeah, do. I'll do this one in the meantime. All good, sir. In the bush, please, my man. This is the uh, look real life HGV in the UK. People don't care, whatever, it's clear way. Yeah, don't worry, we'll struggle. Standard procedure. Stay hydrated.
Mm. Very soily that one. Heavy boys, Nick boys. That corner. Jesus, good heavens, man. Oh, Christ, alive. Oh, it's making that noise. I think it's nearly full. It isn't so. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, yes, please. I'll do the blade as well. So if you have a listen. So. Blade to move forward a few feet. So vehicle controls, hopper and blade. Raise hopper, blade back, blade forward, close bin hopper after emptying. So blade to the front. We'll give it about 10, 15 seconds for it to fully move forwards. And I'll get out again and show you the difference. So gross vehicle weight is 26 ton. Do a bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. So about 10, 15 seconds, out we get. Check again. Blade, much closer now. So it's now about gar. What? Gross vehicle weight's 26 ton. Tear weight empty, starting off fully fueled is approximately 13.8 to 13.9 tons. So you've got approximately 11 tons to play with. However, this being a brown waste, it retains a lot of liquid in the grass clipping. So although the volume of the vehicle gets filled up, the whole like capacity of the vehicle, you could exceed the weight long before that. Where I'm working presently, present, uh, particularly on the garden waste rounds, six black domestic crews, six brown bin uh, garden waste crews, it would appear that the garden waste lorries are throttled back in their um, operating pressures. So the hopper blade will cut out normally about 23, 24 tonne to save on breaking all the pipes and rams, what have you, trying to compress an enormous mound of wet mud, grass, leaves, branches, all manner of biomass material. We're all good? Yep. Oh, more droppings. Now, I don't normally talk in my videos, but I thought I'd give some small insider uh, perspective of, the of working as a dust moon. Doing one, let's get Frank to do two. Empty anyway. Yeah, ma'am. day. It's a good day to be alive. Life's okay. This is a uh, 2018 on a 68 plate, which is UK last six months, 68, uh, 2018 links 2019. This is a uh, Alexander Dennis Eagle Elite 6. So Volvo running gear, straight six diesel. Not sure the engine codes or horsepower. I imagine 310, 320 horsepower. Uh, Allison six speed automatic, buttery smooth. You don't even, you, you hear an engine note change, but you don't feel like a, transition between the gears um, 26 ton vehicle as mentioned earlier with a mid lift axle not a steering rear like some uh, local authorities use uh, vehicles they drive okay yeah they're not bad they're smooth they're decent enough uh, modern accruement so you got a uh, tracks control anti-skid response I believe that abbreviates for uh, hillis hill start assist 
accent evasion braking system and also a lane departure warning, like a buzzy electronic noise. Uh, Bluetooth stereo, uh, is it a CD player? Nope, it's not a CD player. Um, there's not much else really to offer. Um, yeah, they're decent enough to drive. Uh, sometimes a swing can catch people unawares, but if you, after a few hours or indeed a few days of driving them, you soon get used to how to operate the vehicles, especially with um, cars down part both sides of the road, you've got to make a turn at the end of the junction. Uh, reverse camera as well, pretty decent quality. It's a live stream, of course it's not recording, but that's, I'd say that's a true to life picture. And using it, I can normally get the vehicle within a few inches of uh, where I want it to go. Yes, <laughs> cheeky sod. Before you are uh, budding HGV drivers or just travel enthusiasts, um, local authority or indeed private business uh, waste collection work very quickly teach you how to drive a vehicle. Uh, when I passed my test in 2012, spent a few months at a job, got made redundant. We'll get the vehicle stationary. I uh, got made redundant and then I came here. It's something I'd wanted to try for a long time. Um, very quickly cut your teeth driving these things. You will very soon learn how to handle a vehicle. Not for everyone, some people aren't keen on it. Some people love it, some people do it for a lifetime. Some can't even do a day. Um, but all would be class two drivers that may well be watching this whenever you pass. If you do, best of luck to you. Um, yeah, it's a, to find somewhere to uh, start to learn to drive, yeah, I'd, I'd say give it a chance. General haulage work like pallets and, and uh, curtains and all that, home deliveries, dross. I would not recommend that, not at all. Not in a month for Sundays, awful. This is much better. Yo. Yeah, multi-drop work's bloody awful as well. Pallets and huffing and puffing and straps and... Nah, terrible, man. This is a much better class of work. So it's not glamorous. Pay's not stunning, unfortunately. Hopefully with these uh, driver shortages throughout the UK, it shall challenge that issue. But this is one of the very few driving jobs where you are rewarded. Cool, cool. With, um, there's a direct reward for putting in good work, job and knock. So we're safe. As long as you get the work done correctly and quickly, you can go home as soon as, as, soon as you're finished. Some days it might be your full day, so half four, five p.m. Some days you're done by one, two o'clock. Rough and the smooth. Um, admittedly, this house estate is not necessarily indicative of what every day is like for me. This is remarkably clear. Uh, normally, wherever I go, driveways don't get used. Everyone dumps their motor in the road, and some people do it diagonally opposite, so you have to struggle to get through gaps, and everyone's in a rush to go nowhere. No one is appreciative of the job we do. The guys out there and myself, we're bloody hard to get this stuff done every day. And we get maligned, we get treated like scumbags. It's not right. Because without, well, as Brighton in the south of the UK has seen recently, when your refuse workers go on strike, you very quickly notice the difference when you see mounds of waste in the streets and vermin running rampant. But no, even just as an aside, drinky booze, uh, as a side, key workers, such as ourselves, often forgotten about and it's, un it's very unappreciated. It's a thankless job. Um, anyone in any industry, any work, cleaning petrol stations, bringing your food in a restaurant, postman, gas man, whatever the case may be, take the time to talk to them, man. Take that time, thank them, appreciate them because they're people as well, they're human beings. But I often get treated like less than scum. Um, as a criminal, almost, not criminal in a sense, but a second class citizen, certainly. It's not right. People should take a bit of time to appreciate what everyone else has got going on and allow a bit of sympathy and courtesy. Just take a few seconds to get me do my job, probably doing your bin, or I'll very, very soon visit your street and you put my colleagues at risk trying to ram me up the back or zoom in past me at 40 mile an hour without bearing any mind that there may be workers present. It's not on, man. So yeah, 
no benefit to uh, doing bin work, home every night, likely to be local. And it's pretty straightforward. As long as you've got a good team with us, such as I have today, these two guys are banging this out. As long as you've got a good team, you're in for a good day. But when people drag their heels, I don't want to do it, or can't be bothered, or huffing and puffing, drivers included, makes it unduly difficult. Doesn't need to be. So you cruise about, get out as you see me doing it where possible to help out. Just gonna check the mirror. Good. Um, yeah, as long as everyone helps each other out, teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, it's okay, you know. Worst ways to earn money. Let him cross the road. Check that mirror. We're off. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't be so blase to say these are easy to drive. I say it does require a great deal of concentration and uh, spatial awareness to place the vehicle where you want it to go. But as a job, yeah, I've done worse. Okay. The reason why I put the um, hazards and fog lights on every time I reverse is there's no excuse not to see me. This vehicle is 11 foot 10 tall, pair of dip beams, LED running lights, beacons, a whole menagerie of lights, bang, 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 constantly strobing on the front of this vehicle. And yet I get people tearing at me like they're playing Grand Theft Auto and they're not concentrating. So, especially with reversing operations where it's, of course, more hazardous, that's where most accidents occur. Um, yeah, make the vehicle absolutely as visible as possible. And then there's no excuse why that I'm not the scene. Cool, dude. Beep beep for acknowledgement. Cool dude. So, stop in now. Now. So that was acknowledgement so that we could drive up this little wee road here, because these blocks of flats don't have individual bins. There's no need to go on the main road, and we have a great deal to do here. So two coming off, one going on. Mirror, mirror, camera, mirror. You opening in? No problem. Blind spot mirror, let's go. So full throttle, compact to doing its thing, so it's not that speedy. Neutral handbrake, done. Compactor, still doing. PTO is engaged, so you can hear the engine, woo! Revving away. This is crushing the stuff in the back automatically. I believe these are set for every every two bin lifts. So each pair that goes on represents one bin lift. So I believe it's every second time a set of bins go on, be it pair or singles, every second time they go up, compactor works to, well, the blade goes down, scrapes it into the back of the vehicle and then compacts it. It's not a compactor per se, it's more the fact that there's a ridge and you're scooping waste over it and then <laughs> squashing it all in. There we go, ramming it to the front. Three, four. So we've got approximately, well, gross vehicle weight, about two and a half tonne left, but much what I mentioned earlier about the uh, way green biomass matter compresses, okay. retains liquid, I suspect we're gonna hit the, our capacity beforehand. Hey, 
it's up to you if you want to reverse round there or drive up there and reverse come back. You've got a couple of bins on the main road. Right, uh, yeah, drive them and then come back. Yeah, Safer. Yeah. So yeah, although we've got two and a half ton left to get to the gross vehicle weight, um, you may find that even like three, four bins, if they've got full of soil and freshly cut grass, that's uh, not expanded, but it's not been compressed or compressed either. Um, cyclists, see, mirror checks, you always got to be on it. No acknowledgement, as expected. So we'll hang it wide because we're turning right, but I need to be able to see. So we'll go up to that line. So a bit more. Stop. Do what you want, man. No, I'm quite fine. Thank you, though. Plenty of grub. Not at all, not at all. So check, check, mirrors and all that. Let's go. So there, it's not great, but safety is my utmost priority. I'm not too concerned about keeping people waiting. Crew safety is my utter priority. Thanks, man. Oh. Is that a car coming? Yeah, crew safety, utmost paramount importance. I'm not just saying that because it's a video, I'm being serious that everything I do, I've got to bear them in mind. Um, I place the vehicle in a position that I would want it in if I was loading. So for instance, for courtesy, actually no, we'll dump it there. He's fine, he's fine. So yeah, crew safety. Um, I'm not gonna endanger their safety. Let's get a bin done a bit quicker. And there's vehicles shooting down the offside, or I've seen a vehicle there look like to see. Beep, beep. Give him a double two to keep an eye out what's coming. Because Lord knows, cars ain't watching out for us. It's all good, dude. So, vehicle's got to wait a bit longer. That's tough. And I don't say that I'm responsible for them as if it's a burden, not at all. I'm entrusted with these people's safety. Oh. All good? Yep, not at all, not at all. So I would say there's too much vehicles going on in this situation. We could spin it here, but cyclist taxis, it's not worth sodding about with. So let's take a bit longer. We'll go down here, we'll do a quicker three point turn. Um, Yeah, with other road users involved. Cool. Mirrors, mirrors. Yeah, um, utmost caution needs to be paid because well, most people can barely drive the cars they're in, so they certainly don't appreciate what I need to be doing. They say all manner of lights and beepy buzzers and the fact that it's a 12 foot tall white vehicle. People ain't looking. They see, but they ain't looking. Well, actually, no, that's incorrect phrasing. They look, but they don't see. So most people look about there, six foot in front of their vehicle, beep, uh, beep, horn, sodding about on their phones. That one's really concentrating. The phrase I like to use, everyone is in a rush to go nowhere. So yeah, that's clear enough, let's go, let's go. Foot is welded. 
so you can hear the gear change but there's no per perceived shift in gear so turning right into here motor's coming not gonna cut across them way too dangerous so i let her pass but now because i'm using my very far forward planning i can see a motor's coming out of here so we'll have to wait unless i get some direct acknowledgement they let me go nope keep waiting then very good this is this is par for course this is every day this happens but for sake of a few seconds of my time it's not worth uh, endangering other people's safety for a bin no bin is worth that so i've got two up here and we'll be reversing on the left normally there's a car in a corner banging so yeah Right down 31 and 33 meters, please. Certainly. What's it? What, not out or contaminated? Not out. Not out. So, I don't know. I can't see him on any bins down there. I'll we'll put the hazards on in case. So, reporting sheet. Whoa, Jesus. There we go. So, when bins ain't out, 31 and 30, didn't he? Yes. 31 and 30. So, bins that are contaminated, not out when they should be, you have to report lest ye get sent back another day when there isn't reports that you've not collected it. Just check. Right, so yeah, we do need to go down there. So, positioning. You normally want it diagonal. Well, I, I'm sure if my words are going to demonstrate what I mean. Turning, reversing into a junction. Slightly diagonally offset, especially in this case, we're going to have to grab a bit of the pavement. Done. Oh, fair enough. I take disregard all of that. I was expecting to have to reverse down there. That's cool. Any less reversing is always welcome. Decent. Oh, another player to the game. This is a bit more representative what I visit every day. Parking's not too sad here today, but I mean, well, certainly don't visit here in school time. Um, way too much going on, but it's now 20 to 10 in the morning. It's, it's relatively pretty clear. Uh, so what we're gonna do is gonna aim diagonally right up there, reversing into these garages behind, uh, unless I get instructions otherwise, contrary to the point. Oh, damn. Um, Yeah, ordinarily when I've done this on black bins previously, this row of houses, terraced houses here, is that terraced, semi-detached? Not sure. Um, the bins are round the back in the courtyard beyond there, so I get the vehicle as far back as I reasonably can. And then, uh, yeah, pick them up, nose here, and then reverse up there, which we might be doing shortly. So, as it's on, so. We're looking to get it in there. Probably won't get it all the way around. So, nose up here. Neutral, stationary, reverse. Blind side reverse partially. So watch the BMW, watch the Fiesta. Got a bit of curb here, so a bit more right swing. The rear axle is now level, so you can now swing it to the left again. Clear. Might have to grab a bit of this corner as we go around to the right. Might find there's no bins here anyway. A bit to the right, a bit more, a bit more, a bit more. Car on a corner, hidden, cheeky cheeky. So a wee bit more. I'd say that's a courteous amount, would you agree? Yep. Handbrake neutral, hazards, fogs off. So let's have a look, see. So a potential candidate. Let's have a look, let's go for a run. Decent. So, that's one. Looks like that. Right. Slightly 
slightly smaller bin, not as wide. So you need to aim for the three teeth on the right. And then four on the left. Good. Better. Wow, so yeah, reverse up there now. Although, got two here first. Cool. So let him bung them two on. Whilst he's starting to shuttle them back, we can then continue with the reverse manoeuvre. So, bins on the ground, in gear, and brake off. Hazards, rear fog. So a bit more forward, give yourself more time to play with. Time and space indeed. Uh, there is no requirement to do every reverse in one shot. If you need to reposition, that's fine. And certainly don't rush because other people are present because that's when mistakes happen. Take your time. We've all, got, we've got all our lives to get everything done. So if people are trying to rush you to do your job, Take, slow down, go even slower. Take your time, do it safely. We've got many chances every day to do jobs correctly, but you only get one chance to uh, do it wrong. And that's when stuff breaks or people get hurt. If you're lucky, nothing goes, like when a mistake gets made, there's no serious consequence, but particularly in this industry, which don't, I haven't cited my sources. Uh, I believe it's, like, it's one of the top 10 industries for hazards in the UK. Reversing operations, all manner of weather working, heavy heavy bins, loose waste, sharps in bags, the dust that flies out the back as well. I can't imagine that's good for the old respiratory system. It's a hazardous job. And these poor buggers every day, running around huffing and puffing, doing people's bins, don't get rewarded justly in my opinion. That's just an opinion. So that street was done pretty quickly, but every house will put a black bin out, but not every house does garden waste. However, although not every house puts brown bin out, what brown bins do come out are pretty heavy. And the local authority here allows households to have two bins to encourage more compost. Well, to, well it, indeed it discourages people to compost, but the council makes money off the brown waste they collect. So every household puts out two bins, many dollars. But it means more work for us and more trips to the tip. So although a street mining put 10 bins out, them 10 bins could be very heavy. 24 seven. <laughs> it's not, is it? No, I didn't think it would. I did think it was a bit optimistic to expect all it to go on one load. Good last load. Right, let's go. 24, four, three. Let's have a look. Was this one done beyond the Lexus 32? No, not beyond the Lexus. Uh, there was one in the driveway, this I saw. One here wasn't done. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't know about that. This one I'm talking about. Please, and so I did spy it. I did, I looked at it, but I didn't do anything about it earlier. Yep, he's doing no problem. Hey, no, no, that's off. No, so I sat, I sat next to it earlier, staring at it, but I did bugger all to a, a salt situation. My fault. Oh. And there's a reverse down there somewhere, isn't there? Oh, uh, well done. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Cool. First one's driving. Nice corner cutting. 
not doing that again too soon, will ya? It's rushing, as I said earlier. Rushing to go nowhere. So peeping and creeping. Visibility ain't stunning here. Cool. Thank you, sir. Now. Uh, do them yeah, dude. I'll do these first too, then. No, at all. Just after W lines in the corner, curb, car, swing. So there's gonna be some <laughs> curb interface here, I'm afraid. Necessity of the job. So look, even if I hang it wide, so a bit of curb. But look, this is what I'm working with. What can I say? Don't park near junctions, I want no problems. Once you've successfully got these on, cool. What I like to do sometimes, roll it forward a bit. So if they've had to walk a bit bin further than the lorry, roll it forward a bit. So at least it's brilliant, <laughs> facing the direction that they uh, need it to return to make the journey as short as possible. This job's hard enough. We've got more than enough to get on with without making unnecessary foot journeys. We've got the equipment. Use it. If he's having to manually press the uh, blade button, I think we're approaching pretty full at this point. I was optimi I was, I was hopeful that we'd get the whole day's work on in one load, but that ain't happening, is it? Oh well. So 
So, ease bottom from there. So I'm gonna roll it forwards a bit and cross the road. So roll the bins forward. So you picked them up here, but we're dropping them between the two cars where I initially had them placed. Yeah, we're getting pretty full now. Shame. Real shame. So basically now this will add an hour or two to our day. Because had it all gone on one load, visit the composting tip site once, go home. But we've now got to go composting tip site and then come back for whatever work we can't fit on. So, eh. Deal with it, it's the nature of the job, much like I said earlier, rough and the smooth. What is the weight anyway? Yeah, high, t high 24, so I say, although it's got a ton weight that it could carry, if the whole body of the vehicle is full of grass and clippings and what have you, it ain't gonna go on, is it? Oh well, no problem. I thought we're doing pretty well though, say so 10am, well 10 to 10 right now, we've made pretty storming progress. Yeah, this is gonna be it, innit? Let me do these two. Yeah, really doesn't look hopeful, does it? <laughs> so I bung these two on. A little spinzy winzy in this area. We've got uh, one, two, four, five, six. Yeah, six bins here. I think we're going to have to call it. Most stunning parking, but temporary because I've got two people I'm ready to use a vehicle. We'll do proper maneuvers in a minute. Brilliant, <laughs> fantastic. So, yeah, this is what happens when the vehicles, yeah, this is what much what I was saying to myself. This, I think we're gonna have to call it off this street. I don't think we're getting a great deal more on, are we really? Hesitating here. Has that one been done? Cool, man. All right, so buttons in. Scoop it into the uh, body of the vehicle, we're just crushing it down into the hopper. Vain hope we'll get a few more bits in, but. Oh, that's it. So, have you. Yeah, that's it. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Let's get this out. That's spilling on the carriageway. So, yeah. That's it. That's all the space it's got. Have a good day.